Hey everybody, welcome back to Metro 2033. My name is Splattercat and I'm happy to have you here today as we approach that point in the horror movie where, so in the previous episode we had been walking down a long scary hallway and our friends were getting picked off one by one like ancient scabs and then of course right after that we're going to get isolated and so welcome, we are the sickly gazelle today and I've got my gun pumped up, I'm ready to roll, let's just rip this off quick like a band-aid, I'm going to step in that spider pile right there, obviously always a good idea to step in spider piles whenever you can. I don't like this place. I don't like that hole right there. Oh, I remember these things from the second Metro. I remember these things. They're a huge pain in the ass. Oh, this is gonna suck. Should I shotgun them? I'm out of shells, aren't I? Oh, I'm the worst. I am the worst video game player ever. No, 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 no. I'm going to strongly recommend that you recharge faster. Gun that I am hurriedly and worriedly firing at my enemies. No. Did I get him? Did he fall down? Oh, I do not like this. I'm not an arachnophobe, but oh my god, we have problems right now. Oh, we only have 22 bullets left, too. Oh, this is... Stop making noises. Why can't we just get along? Huh? Is there anything in here? Because I could really use it right now. Like anything. Two shotgun shells? That's what you gave me? I asked you for any, I guess, two shotgun shells does technically count as anything in the world. Oh, I hate this so much. What about this gun? Oh, we got some bullets left. I mean, it's not much, but it's going to have to do... Yeah, there you go. Stab the door open with a knife. Don't kick it or anything. It's only made out of, like, plywood. Hollow plywood. Oh, there's the safe we needed. That's the one I was looking for. Ooh, we got ooh five ball bearings. Okay, some bullets. Can I open these up right here? Because these look like all the other ammo crates in the game that I've been able to open. I guess not. Let's continue destroying these doors because, meh. I like giving my opponents more access to my body. More ways. Did that door just... I don't enjoy this. As you can tell, I don't deal well with giant bugs. Strangely enough, I'm okay with normal-sized bugs. They don't bother me that much. It's the huge ones that freak me the hell out. Eh. You know they're about to come up out of that hole. You know it. Did I already go in here? I did not. This looks like every bathroom from the 80s. <laughs> the hell is that? Just like a nutsack growing out of a toilet. But only one. Oh, don't do that. What in the... Oh, no. Where's Ripley when you need her? Oh, look. Another key that goes to something that I'm going to have to track down while being chased by vicious, hungry things. Let me recharge my flashlight real quick. Alright. Just in case. I'm going to load a couple shells in here because you never know. Every single shot is better than, like, being completely and totally out. That's reloaded. I'm going to stick with this gun for right now because it seems to do a pretty good job of getting them out of my way. I'm pretty sure if there was another Russian guy here right now, he'd be singing. Which is always, I said that earlier in the series, whenever the Russian guy starts singing, you know that shit's about to get real. Oh, dude. Ow. That's right, back up. You don't want none. I've got a weapon that's made out of car batteries and other random assorted parts that I got from God knows where. Come on. Recharge faster. That's right, I'll put rounds in you, son. I'll put rounds in you right now. My bullets are round too, so it works out literally and metaphorically. Send them a volley. Why won't you just fall over and die? It would make me feel better if you would. I think I was probably supposed to climb that ladder, but instead I jumped down Rambo mode style because, meh, they don't tell me what to do. I'm going to light some of these things on fire because it seems like a good plan right now. Can I get my AK out or whatever it is that I'm rocking? My bullpup. There we go. And just light all these to get them out of my way because, honestly, as we've been going through these, it makes you walk really, really slowly and I don't like it. 
I like to move quickly when I'm around giant spiders. I'm not totally confident that I can outrun them, but, well, you know, why is it saying that I have 263? Oh, do I have the good bullets loaded? I must have the good bullets loaded. I was like, why does it keep telling me how much currency I have? That's such an odd thing to do right now. It's not like I'm counting my money at the moment. What is that, like a napalm canister? I don't have a flamethrower anymore, so unfortunately I ditched probably one of the more useful things that I had. Having seen Alien and all that fun stuff, you'd think I would know better than to throw away the flamethrower, but nope. You should always assume that Splattercat never knows better. He just kind of like does whatever comes to him at the time. And then talks about it in the third person. This doesn't look like the best support structure, but it's nice to know that somebody's rooting for it. <laughs> Woo! Dad jokes. There we go. Let's go on in. And is there anything down there that I want? It looks kind of nice down there. Like, maybe I want to check that out. I'm going to go over here first, though. I'm going to work top to bottom. What are those? Just like glowing nails sticking out of the wall? Seems like a great way to lose some arm skin when you walk by. You're like, ah, you know, I didn't need that piece of my shoulder anyway. It's just a big chunk of rip. There it goes into the wall. Ah, well. Okay, so we got a note right here and a med kit. I'm on my last med kit? Oh, no. Maybe I should have climbed down that ladder. Can I go down in there? My guess is that it's probably a bad plan since I don't see any way to get back up here, but... Watch out for booby traps along the way, too, because this is right about the time that you know they always spring a tripwire on me. Anything in that bucket? No. Jenny's fine. That flips around right there. Can't open that. Giant hole in the wall. I bet this is going to make a bunch of noise. Yeah, close the door, dude. Unless there's more stuff on this side, and then don't close the door. We might have to retreat back that way. I drop here! Thank God, it is your life. We lost them. Fuck! Okay, silence. A sound from the tunnel. Can't you hear it? Something's approaching. That sucks for Steppen. He didn't even get to die on camera, ain't that a bitch? And the credit's gonna be like extra guy number five, aka Steppen. like an automatic system. I'll check it out. I really feel sort of shoddy about all of this. Somehow I have a bad feeling about this. Mm-hmm. I concur. I don't like this at all. All clear. There's no other way. Never take it. Those seats look really uncomfortable. I'm gonna say that given the fact that they form an acute angle, that sitting on this for any extended amount of time is probably gonna have you all arranged up to go see the chiropractor. We were close to D6 now. It was hard to believe that we'd found the legendary command center. But was it worth so many lives? Soon, we would know the answer. You know, sometimes you don't want to know the answer to the question. You just kind of, like, want it to be. Or, I guess, in this case, D, since we're going to D6. But you know what I mean. Cosmos, quick! 
I like how the gas just came through the window right there, even though it wasn't broken. The window appears to be intact, that's all that I'm saying. Careful, damn it! 20 years without maintenance is too much even for Soviet military structures. Everyone watch your step, especially you, Artyom. Hmm. Looks pretty clear. The control room should be there. Well, let's check it out. Horn and Vladimir, stay here and cover our asses. We never know what's coming. Artyom, come with me. Oh, sir. Sir, yes, yes, sir. sir. I'm good at covering asses. You can call me the butt flap. It's one of my main skills in life. Oh look, a thing that I can open for more filters because I'm almost out of oxygen. Let's make this quick. Hopefully. This is pretty tense. Ooh, free filter. Yes, please. You know like 500 no solaces are about to show up. They've got to. It's mandatory at this point because we're in a tiny little area where you can barely fight. And I'm out of shotgun shells. How could the situation get worse? Some steps over here back in this area anything desirable any dead guys or anything else over here I like exploring people have to stick with me here it makes me happy so why would so I can get up here I don't know what any of this accomplishes but I'm gonna swap out a filter real fast Give myself a couple more minutes to breathe. Alright, let's just go back. Oh, man. I don't know if there's any place to climb up right here. Yeah, we gotta go back over like so. And then let's find our buddy. I want to check every single one of these cars just to make sure. I doubt there's anything in here just because it's supposed to be an area where nobody's ever been. Oh, I imagined everything just as it is. There's something about these objects. Uh, they, uh, they're Soviet soul. <laughs> you know about that. Are you saying I don't have a Soviet soul? I'm pretty sure, I mean, Artyom sounds like he has the definition of a Soviet soul, so being that... On the top, there's an air filtering system for emergencies. These systems were built to last, so there's a good chance it still works. What's down this way? Let's have a look real fast. We can't get on the car, so that's okay. Oxygen's a little bit low, so I'm, I don't really have much time to explore here. Unfortunately. Unless we see something like immediately useful down there. I'm really surprised that nothing jumped out and tried to kill us. Nothing good, Billion. We gave these machines too much credit. All these mechanisms have to be fixed by hand. At home, there's an auxiliary startup system. Go upstairs to that ledge. I'll tell you what to do when you get there. Hooray! To the ledge! To the wall! Well, at least the lights are on now. That's pretty cool. Artyom! There should be four starter motors over there! Find them! Four starter ledges. Right, so let's go ahead and do that. Ooh, the machinery's all uncovered. How do you know what button? Oh, man.
Also, these aren't buttons, these are levers. I know you've never been up here, but get it right. Did that just break? Oh my god. Corrosion. Don! Stand it up! Not a chance. Try again! How hopeless! What does this do? Why can't they cool? Just like in old Hollywood movies about Soviet Union. Hey, Colonel! What's up? We almost fell off! All good! Artyom, let's move out. Enough playing with the equipment. I don't trust that for a second. What happens if the little grippy things come loose? You're about to go on the craziest, like, roller coaster ride that was ever invented down to the bottom of a pit of hell. I can already see dangly, nasty things down there. I know it's not going to be good. Oh, good, we can take off our masks. No more oxygen wasted. Yeah, I can see little spider eggs down there. Man. Go. Whoa, it's voice activated? That's amazing. Sparta. Snapta. <laughs> Thank God we don't have to go all the way down. No, oh, something feels very wrong in there. I don't know if you've ever, like, been told this, but you have crazy eye. Additionally, a toothbrush might not kill you. It'd probably help a little bit. And again, how hard is it to find a toothbrush at this point in human history? I guess you could use those things like they use in Africa, those little sticks that you just scrub on your teeth. Like, I forget what they're called. You chew on them, too. You can get them at the, uh, there's like a... Holman, go left. Professor to the right. Artyom, cover me. There's like a Whole Food store thing near where I live and they sell them there. I forget what they're called. That's correct, we need to go there. But how can we open this gate, huh? Any ideas? Artyom? Ah, uh, well, let me just wire in my little hand pump thing and I'm sure it'll fix just about everything. There you go. Hooray for us. <laughs> it's Great job, Artyomka. Olma, let's go. I like how it just rams its way through. It's kind of adorable. Try and be on the lookout for any loot in here that we can use because honestly we're a little bit low right now. So I'd like to pick up any supplementation that I can. No, there we go. Come on. Well shit, we got so much pristine ammo and we already have really good guns, so why bother saving it? Your data? Holman, hold the door. Vladimir, that's your field. What do you need? Let me think. Um, instruction A124, page 3. Um, panel DS22. All right. There it is. Superb memory, Vladimir. I always said the army was a worthwhile institution. All the training finally paid off. It's working. Now that's hard work. Excellent. First, died. Second, destroyed. Third, fourth, fifth, eighth. Then, jokey pokey, that just cannot be. Here, here's one. Now, now I'll get all the info. What the hell? What happened? Battery backup depleted. What about main power? Well, it looks like the reactor is deactivated. We won't be able to start it from here. We need to start the reactor manually at the lowest level. From the schemat... <laughs> Difficult. Almost everything is automated. <laughs> hey, stop laughing! How do we go down? Well... There's a lift just one level down. But there's a slight problem. To power it up, we need to switch off everything. Even emergency lighting. Then there is no other choice. Do it. Thanks, Volodya. Stay here and watch the readings. We'll be fast. Artyom, Olman, follow me! I 
I'm figuring there's gonna be a culmination around here somewhere. Just because, like, oh shit. Shit. I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Here come the sons of the apocalypse. Holman, change of plans. You stay with Vladimir and defend this position. If anything happens, I will send her to him. Good luck to us all. Off we go. Looks kind of gooey down there. Yeah, it seems like it would just be sticky. Like you would need some kind of like wipe if you leaned on anything just to clean yourself off. I also feel like it's probably really humid down here, and I can't stand humidity. Yesterday it was like a million percent humidity where I live. It was like 95 degrees, but it was like raining. Oh, it was worst. It was so hot that like it was raining, so you needed a coat, but it was too hot to wear a coat. So it was just like, ah, what do I do? I don't know if it's better to go MVGs in here. Sure. The lift is over there, but the door is locked. Okay, we'll have to go around. Advance carefully. We'll cover each other. I'm making friends on the beaches. The hell are those? Like battle balls. It's the weirdest shit. What the hell was that? I am so confused right now. I'm not even totally positive what's hitting us right now. Like, do those get set on fire? Oh, they do. So maybe I can save myself some trouble by shooting these early. Yeah, it looks like I can. Keep those testicles oh murder from getting up in here and destroying us. Yeah, I think if we can light them on fire, we should be good. And since the normal pristine ammunition is incendiary, I think we're going to be alright, maybe. I got no med kits left, though, so, you know, screwing this up is basically... Kind of a one chance, one shot deal. Okay, this is the lift. I hope it still works. I bet you it won't. Can you believe in that crap after all this? Colonel, go to the reactor hall. There will be a main reactor in the center, left of the control room. A lift goes down to the ground floor, and you will have to take the stairs up. Activate the switchboard by the means of the large lever. I will tell you what to do next. Oh what the fuck? What do we do now, huh? Vladimir, if only you could see that. Okay, get ready, Artyom. It's going to be hot. Looks like the inside of a colon in here. It is toxic for sure, and all the gas. We won't last long here. Now is not the time for painting. Now is the time for shooting. Come on. I've been places and I've seen my share of shit, but this is an illegal ritual. Well, I've seen a lot of shit too, but I used to clean outhouses, so, you know. I 
think that's one right there. They're trying to do their best to hide him. But I think I see one right there. Hey, look, there's some butt cheeks over here. Oh, never mind. Throbbing butt cheeks. The best kind of butt cheeks. This is Dankus. I won't lie to you. I'm afraid now. But you've got that cool green laser pointer. I feel like you shouldn't be afraid. Let's head into the bunker. This sight just makes me sick. Okay, where's the lever? Uh-huh. I knew you could do it. Colonel, the system is automated. Just enter the command. Sure. Easier said than done. Never thought I'd be in such a mess. Okay. Reactor, starter. One, two, three, four. Looks simple. They built it so even a fool could use it. Just pray to God it works. Colonel, it's all good. She's at one quarter power. We need a full charge. Keep it going. It's short, Padiri. Oh, well, we won't do any better than that. Let's go. Second. Sure, my, what the hell was that? Now this shit is fighting back. This gets worse every minute. Yeah. Ew. Tuck, 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 manual activation system, hydraulics, sure. Artyom, you won't believe what you have to do now. Can you see the crane on the ceiling? Get to the cabin. It's a backup activation system with a capture mechanism which will help us lift the rods. Try to get there while I distract our friend. Okay, let's move. All right. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here for Metro. I will see you all next time. Bye, everybody.